who wants to experience untouched nature should come to Rauris. That's the right place. But not on the 22nd of January. There's pure action. The world best telemarkers met each other for the second time to the FIS World Cup race in Rauris. The family's key region in Salzburg is best known for years in the scene. The World Cup races were a great success for all participants and organizer last year too. This year, 60 people from 14 countries attended the Telemark World Cup to fight for the best racing time in a giant slalom and in a sprint classic race. In bright sunshine, the racers showed us what they can. I like it here. It's better than other places we've been, so we're having a great time. We like it. The special of Telemark racing is that three skiing techniques from ski jumping, cross-country skiing and downhill racing are combined to one competition. In contrast to alpine skiing races, there's a huge jump next to the gate in the middle of the Hoferleiten, over which the racers have to jump and land in Telemark style. At the end of the slalom course, there's a 360 degrees deep turn, which forces the telemarkers to slow down to cross-country skiing speed. The racers with the most cross-country skiing experience, who are able to leave the turn with surplus of momentum, could win valuable seconds for the last meters of the race. The Kreuzboden slope is especially suitable for telemarking, because the conditions and the steepness are ideal for successful and spectacular race. The special of this ski track here is the crossover. That part of the slope is very icy and you need to get it well to get enough speed for the jump. Because of the shadow side, the slope is always hard and slip proof. So every racer has the same conditions. Exactly in time, the starting signal for the first one heralded at 10 o'clock. It's very important for the racers to free the heel around every gate and to land in Telemark style after the jump. Every gate or landing mistake the racers made brought them another penalty which is often more than one second worth. The racers were required most in the classic discipline which combines all Nordic ski styles. A lot of manpower and fitness was necessary to go over the jump which was the most extraordinary element of the classic race. Another challenge for the racers was the 360 degree steep turn, but for the audience it was the most spectacular element to watch. The last part before the finish line took a lot of power from the racers and for few it also took precious time. It's more spectacular for visitors because you can see more crashes than when it's just a like a highway down. Finally Amelie Raymond from Switzerland won the women competition. The winner in the man competition was the Frenchman Philippe Lau. He awarded himself with the first place at the second FIS Telemark World Cup in Rauris. Today it was a really hard fight for me. I would say both runs were very difficult, but the snow was very good. However, I'm satisfied about both runs. Nothing happened, everything got well. I'm just happy, it's pretty familiar here in Rauris. And the track was good for our racing. So I had a great day for me. The second and third place in the women race won Sandrine Meyer also from Switzerland and Kati Knudsen from Norway. Eirik Rückhus from Norway and Antoine Bouvier from France were the second and third best men on the podium. The FIS Telemark World Cup was a great success for all members, organizers and racers in 2011. Both organizers, the British Army and the Raurisetal, were very satisfied about the event and happy that the races were done without any accidents. I'm extremely satisfied. It's gone very, very well. Everyone has worked very, very hard. And a good race is when the racers leave with smiles on their faces, and that's what they're doing. We've been here for four years now, and it's like coming home. We're like, it's part of the family, or we feel part of the family here. We are already looking forward to the next year when the racers are fighting again for the best position on the podium.